Okay, we go to the example three. To look at the questions, uh, a rectangular sedimentation tank. Okay, it's not a round type, it's a rectangular type. It's to be designed with a flow of 20 million liter per day. Low means this is the Q. Okay, Q is equal to 20 million liter per day using 2 to 1 length width ratio and overflow rate of 24 meter per day. It is the same. Okay, the tank is to be 2 meters deep. Determine the dimension of the tank and the detention time. I think I would like to extract this question into diagram. So we have a rectangular sedimentation tank, and it says that the Q is 20 mld. Okay. And also, they say uh, the ratio of length to width is actually 2 to 1. So you can do the, I do not know what you call it in English, I call it Darab Silang. Okay cross uh, multiplication, I think. So that is L is equal to 2W. Okay, that's the, the ratio of length and also the width. And then they mentioned on the height of the tank, which is 2 meters. Okay, 2 meters. And the overflow rate was also given, 24 meter per day. So they want you to find out the T, the L, and also the W. And you remember V0 is what? Can someone tell me the equation for V0? Something that you have to memorize? Awesome. Hi, over time. Thank you so much. At least someone knows. Thank you very much. I, I, I assume that everyone knows actually. <clears throat> H divided by time. So V0 is already there. We have already got our H. So it's very easy to find our T then. Remember, V0 is equal to H divided by T and Q divided by AS. Right, so with that, so T is equal to H divided by V0. Our H was 2 meter divided by this value, 24 meter per day. If you times, so that means you have to turn upside down this number. So meter and meter will cancel. So you got 2 divided by 24 is actually 1 divided by 12 whatever the value is so i like to change it into minutes into hour sorry so this is the multipli multiplication here is for the conversion units so meter cancel with this meter day cancel with this day so you end up in hour so 24 divided by 24 is one they need two hour so the result will be two hours you want me to proceed yes are you guys writing down or taking pictures? Writing. Oh. Writing, writing, uh, writing. Wait, 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 wait. Very impressive. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right. Next slide. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, right. Okay. Uh, the question asking you on the detention time, which we already got, already obtained. That's not a problem. So they also ask you to find out the L the length of the sedimentation tank and also the width of the sedimentation tank. Okay, so we know that the volume, the V0 is equal to Q divided by AS. So the, the Q was given, the Q was 20 mld and AS is equal to Q divided by V0, 24 meter per day. So you have to change this. Or basically, if you divide number that means when you times you have to turn it upside down and then another factor is just to change liter here to meter cube we times with the conversion factor so day we cancel with this so eventually we get your area in meter squared so perhaps you would like to solve that first this is not supposed to be sorry is this is not 106 okay that's supposed to be to the power of six is the answer is given already. Okay, so the answer for AS is 833.33 meters squared. Okay, so we have not finished because we need to find out the length and the width. So you know that AS is actually length times width. Okay, can I continue? Can I proceed? Yes. S is 833.33 meter square. We know that L is equal to 2W. That means this value, the AS is equal to L times W. And that is 2W times W. 
and that is 2w squared is equal to 833.33 and then rearrange your w and do that okay 833.33 divided by 2 and square root the, uh, the, the answer and you will eventually get your w to be whatever things that you would like to find out okay do your math first and then find out your l as well anyone w and l w um 20.4 W 20.4 and L? 40.8. Okay, yeah. uh, w is 20.41 if I'm not mistaken. L is 40.8. Yeah. So, we have already finished the sedimentation. Okay. Uh, just a diagram of the real sedimentation tank. And then they have scraper. You see, this is sedimentation tank. So, the suspended solid. <laughs> We goes down here. So this is the scraper. You scrap all the suspended solid, and eventually all the suspended solid sludge will be sent uh, outside here through this uh, valve or the uh, opening, if you like. 